Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about writing the equation of tangent lines and normal lines. So first off, let's just take a look at what exactly a tangent line is. So a tangent line is a line that touches a curve in one and only one spot. So here we're looking at the curve y is equal to x squared minus x minus 2. This red line here is our tangent line. This is the line tangent to this graph at x is equal to 1. If I drag this point around, I can see that my tangent line moves depending on where that point is. So say I wanted the tangent line at x equals negative 1. I would drag this point to x equals negative 1. There's the line tangent to the curve at x equals negative 1. What we're looking at today is how do we come up with an equation for this line? Well, we know that a derivative is a formula to find the slope of the curve at any specific point. So if I were to find f prime and plug in negative 1, that would give me the slope of this line. If I were to move this tangent line, say I moved it to x is equal to 0, if I plugged x equals 0 into f prime, I would get the slope of this red line. So the slope of the tangent line is always going to come from the derivative. That's always going to come from f prime, g prime, whatever prime it is. The point on the line is always going to come from the curve. So if you notice, this tangent line and the curve are always intersecting at one and only one point. So if I wanted the tangent line at x equals 2, I would have to plug 2 into y to find the coordinates of this point. In this case, that would be the point 2, 0. That would be the x and the y coordinate that I would plug into my line to write the equation of my line, while the slope of that line would again come from the derivative. Let's look at a couple of examples where I have a curve and a point and I need to write the tangent line to that curve at the given point or the given x value. Number one, write the equation of the tangent line at the given point. So here's my curve y and I'm looking to write the tangent line at x is equal to one. The first thing that I wanna do is find y prime. I see here that I'm multiplying a trinomial and a binomial. So to find y prime or the derivative, I'm gonna use the product rule here, where this is my first and this is my second. So I'm gonna have x squared minus four x plus two, that's the first, times the derivative of the second is four, plus the second, four x minus one, times the derivative of the first is gonna be two x minus four. So this is my derivative. Again, the slope of the tangent line comes from the derivative. So m tan, the slope of my tangent line, I'm going to be able to find by plugging x equals 1 into my derivative. So when I plug in 1 here, I end up with this expression, which simplifies to negative 1 times 4 plus 3 times negative 2, which is negative 4 minus 6. That gives me negative 10. So again, this is m tan. This is the slope of my tangent line. The next thing I need to find is the y value that this curve is passing through at x equals 1. So in order to do that, I'm going to plug 1 into my original equation, into y. When I plug that in, I get this expression. If I simplify that, I get negative 1 times 3, which gives me negative 3. Once I have m tan and y, I'm then just going to plug these values into the point slope equation of a line. The point slope equation of a line is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, where x1, y1 is a point on the line and m is the slope of the line. They gave me x1 in the beginning here. We found m by plugging x equals 1 into the derivative, and we found y1 by plugging x equals 1 into y. So now I'm just plugging these three values into the equation of my line. I end up with y minus a negative 3, so that's going to be plus 3, is equal to m, that was negative 10, times x minus 1. And I can leave this just like this. This is the equation of the tangent line to this curve at x is equal to 1. Number two, write the equation of the tangent line at the given point. So here's y, and then here's the point. So this one's actually a little bit nicer than number one because right in the beginning they give me x1, but they also give me y1 for when I'm plugging into this point slope formula, 
right? Because again, this is the equation where x1, y1 is a point on the curve. So in the previous example, they didn't give me y1. I had to find that by plugging this x value into the curve. So this is just going to be one less step. I have y1, I have x1, the last thing I need to find is m. I find m by finding the derivative and plugging x into the derivative because again, the derivative gives me the slope of the tangent line. So in order to find y prime here or my derivative, I'm going to need a quotient rule. The quotient rule says low d high, so x squared plus 3 times 1 minus high times the derivative of the low, so x minus 4 times 2x all over low squared, so in this case, x squared plus 3 squared. If I clean up that numerator a little bit, I have x squared plus 3. I'm going to distribute a negative 2x in here, so that's going to be minus 2x squared plus 8x, still over that x squared plus 3 squared. One more step to clean this up, I'm just going to combine these like terms. I end up with negative x squared plus 8x plus 3, over x squared plus 3 squared. Now, in order to find m tan, I'm going to plug this x value into the derivative because the derivative gives me the slope of the tangent line. So if I plug in 2, I get this expression. So 2 squared is 4, so that's going to be a negative 4 plus 16 plus 3 over 4 plus 3. That's 7 squared, so 49. If I reduce that numerator, I end up with 15 over 49. So again, that gives me m tan. So now I have m tan, I have x1, I have y1. I just need to plug those values into the equation of my line. So my answer here will be y minus a negative 2 over 7. So that becomes plus 2 over 7 is equal to m was 15 over 49 times x minus 2. There is the equation of my tangent line. Number three. Determine the points at which the graph of the following function has a horizontal tangent. So this one's very different than 1 and 2. It's not asking me to find the equation of a tangent line. It's asking me to find the x values where this curve has a tangent line that's horizontal. A line that's horizontal has a slope of 0. So if the slope of the tangent line is equal to 0, what this question is asking me to do is find when y prime is equal to 0. So first, I'm going to start by finding y prime. So 3 times 8 thirds, that gives me 8x squared, plus that's going to give me 10x minus 3. There's my derivative. Again, the derivative represents the slope of the tangent line at any x value. I want to know when this tangent line, when the slope of that tangent line is equal to 0. So I'm going to solve this equation for when x is equal to 0. When I factor this thing, I'm going to look for two numbers that add to positive 10, but multiply to negative 24, right? I multiply my first and my last. So that's going to be positive 12 and negative 2. So I'm going to split up this middle term so that it's 8x squared plus 12x minus 2x minus 3. And now I'm going to do some factor by grouping. So I can pull out a 4x and I'm left with 2x plus 3. Pull out a negative 1 in the second two terms, I'm left with 2x plus 3. And now I can pull a 2x plus 3 out of each of these, and I'm left with 4x minus 1. So I'm going to get two answers here. I'm going to get one answer when 2x plus 3 equals 0, and I'll get another answer when 4x minus 1 equals 0. So this is going to be x equals negative 3 halves, and x equals positive 1 fourth. So again, this tells me at x equals 1 fourth and at x equals negative 3 halves, this curve has a horizontal tangent line because that's when the derivative or the slope of the tangent line is equal to zero. Number four, determine the points at which the graph of the following function has a vertical tangent line. So in order for the tangent line to be vertical, the slope of a vertical line is an undefined slope. I know that undefined slopes are of the form where I have a number in the numerator and then a zero in the denominator. If I'm dividing by zero, that means that slope is undefined. So what this question is asking me to find is when is m tan undefined or when is y prime equal to a number over zero? When is the denominator equal to zero? So what I'm going to do first here is find y prime, find that derivative. 
to find the derivative, I'm going to need a quotient rule here. So low d high, x plus 3 times 0, minus high d low, 5 times 1, all over low squared, x plus 3 squared. If I clean this up, I have negative 5 in the numerator and x plus 3 squared in the denominator. So this is my derivative. This represents the slope of the tangent line at any x value. I want to know which x values are going to give me an undefined slope. So a slope where, or a fraction really, where the denominator is equal to 0. So all I have to do now is set that denominator equal to 0. And I can see here that I get x equals negative 3. So at x equals negative 3, this curve is going to have a vertical tangent line because that's when my derivative is undefined. Number 5. Write the equation of the normal line to y equals rad x at x equals 4. Normal line is fancy for perpendicular to the tangent. So I'm going to start off a problem like this in the same way that I started off writing the equation of the tangent line. So the first thing I need to do is find the derivative for rad x. I'm going to rewrite rad x so that it has a fractional exponent and I can apply the power rule. So now y prime is going to be 1 half x to the negative half or 1 over 2 rad x. In order to find the slope of the tangent line, I would plug this x value into the derivative. So when I do that, I get 1 over 4. This is the slope of the tangent line. But I don't want the equation of the tangent line. I want the equation of the normal line. So I need to find the perpendicular slope to this slope that I just found. So m normal is perpendicular to m tan. In order to find a perpendicular slope, I need to find the opposite reciprocal. So I'm going to flip this fraction, 4 over 1, and I negate it. So the slope of the normal line is negative 4. This line is still going to pass through y equals rad x at x equals 4. And I'm also still going to be filling in the equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. They gave me x1 to begin with. I just found m, the slope of the normal line. The last thing that I need to find here in order to be able to fill this equation in is y. So y is going to come from my original function rad x. I plug in x equals 4 and I get 2. Now I have everything that I need to plug into the equation of the line. So the equation of my normal line will be y minus y1, which is 2, equals m. Again, I want the normal line here, so negative 4 times x minus x1 is 4. There's the equation of the normal line to y equals rad x at x equals 4. That's it for finding equations of tangent and normal lines. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Have a great day.